Hello Gundam fans, this is Prime92, and today I'll be looking at the 10144 real grade Gundam Exia from the first season of Gundam Double Up. And wow, this thing, this thing is I love it. I love the way it looks. It is it is perfect looking. Even the feet now, the toes are a little kinda of weird looking initially, but I like them. The more I look at them, they're kinda of more robotic looking compared to the original Exia um High grade, which are lighter feet. I, I don't know. I kind of like them. This this is compared like compared to all the other real grades from master grades that came before them. This feels like a shrunken down master grade in terms of the look. It like look at that face. Looks really just like the master grade. I was gonna take the master grade off the uh, shelf and have it like take a picture and do a side-by-side -side comparison so they'd be the, the same size but i don't want to take the trouble because it takes forever to get that thing to stand and i'd have to leave the weapons off because they'd fall off and then i had to put it back on the shelf and that would take forever and the weapons fall off and it falls down and knocks other stuff off the shelf i have to put it at the back of the shelf it's just a big pain compared to this guy who stands by himself what a novel idea an exia that stands Something the Master Grade could only dream of. I should know, I have too. But it looks great. It does have some color differences. You got the uh, slightly darker blue and a lighter gray compared to the white. Red seems to be just one color. I did put all the G and condenser stickers and on the forehead and the eyes. You do have quite a few stickers for decaling. Well, if, if, I wish I need rub transfer or water slide. Definitely water slide. Nice dark clear green for all the condensers. Very nice looking. Yep, and it has um the silver in here, which are a little different because it is foil stickers, so they look a little weird. They're really, really shiny if they're on a rough surface. They look kind of odd. And of course the pieces here, which the rubber pieces which are on here on the head, um, stomach, upper legs and lower legs, and the back of the arms. They all look pretty good. It makes the uh, silver more of a bluish. And they can be a little tricky to get it. And if you if you drop them, holy, try to find those things. Let me tell you, it's hard. It is hard. But I, I love this thing. I really do. I don't really have anything bad to say about it. it, it you know, okay, well, it's not uh, how it looks, but building it, there are so many, so many tiny things on this guy, especially the head. These little yellow pieces on his cheeks. Be careful with those, because I accidentally broke them, like, in half, and they're so tiny. It t I lost them three times, and it took forever to find them. I did, but man, it has small pieces. But this thing looks amazing. I love how this thing looks. I, I love it. It is a perfect-looking exit. Now, the head can go up and down and rotate and forward and back a little. Uh, of course, little spiky things can move up and down. The arms, they, at the torso, they kind of go forward. They have a little joint, and then the arms can go forward. And these parts, just like the master grade, can move, which I never really found they help on any grade, but okay, it does make a little bit more clearance. Arms will rotate. They can go out. These cores definitely make it tight. Like, it, it, they're very, the closer they get, the easier the shoulders pop off, like that. But you just have to kind of mess with them. Eventually, I'm sure they'll stay. And, of course, the arms rotate above the elbow, just because of those cores they had to, they couldn't do it up here. Double-jointed elbow. You got the ball-jointed wrist and a hinge right below the wrist. And of course, I have the articulate fingers on this hand, so they're articulate just like the other real grades. There is a side-to-side -side motion on the torso. Once again, Master Grade has it. So you guess it is very tight on mine. So you get side-to-side. -side. And there does seem to be a little forward crunch. And then the swivel waist. And the front skirts seem to be kind of limited. They don't go up that far. At least I'm, if I'm missing something, I don't think so. I kind of wish the legs could go down because this seems to be the range you can get. 
because he, he does have kind of wide uh, hips here. And the Baskers can also move back. So the legs can actually go farther back than forward. And rotate the hip. And lovely separation for the double jointed knee. Yep. And there seems to be a hinge up here for the ankle. And then this part can move, and so can the front flap. Ball jointed foot, and a hinge. So it can actually go in side to side. And then the foot can move, and the toe. Once again, Master Ray can do that, but this guy can do it and stand. I know, what a novel idea. So articulation on this kit is really good. Once again, front skirts are like my one complaint. Well, that and the uh, shoulder armor kind of pops off. You get the arm too far because of the cords. But if you want, you can take those cords off because they're actually... This part here that um, keeps the cord on, the arm, goes over it. And if you take that off, it's just a peg. Cut that peg off. Take the cord out of here. You won't even notice. If you don't want it, you can easily make a, uh, a somewhat R2... Exia. So articulation is pretty awesome, but does have a few limitations. So of course Exia has an opening cockpit, kind of small, and a little Cessna figure, which I almost broke his legs off, getting him off the uh, plate, because very tiny. Also, G and Drive can come out. I was actually not expecting that, because it is small. But you can actually pull that out too. You can see the uh, GM drive uh, turbine in there. And I don't know if I can. Uh, well, you can get it out. It's kind of tight in there. Although you do get, I guess I can show you the front of it. Because that's the front. You get two of these because it's on uh, two different plates. So that is the front. <laughs> I guess that's one way to get around it. And hey, burst mode. So there's that. But you can pull it out. It's just kind of tight. At least on mine. And of course, the beam saber handles. You got the ones on the shoulders, which are on a hinge. And then the ones on the back can come up and out, just like they should. And you get a set of the long, flat beams. And now we use the shoulder. A set of the short, flat beams. Alright, just like you should. And you get a lot of hands here. You got the uh, set of holding hand or fists, which came on the arm, the articulate hands, a set of trigger finger hands, and a set of open hands. So quite a few. And speaking of holding hands, you get a set of the swords, the long and the short swords, which have that nice chromey goodness for the blades. Not quite as detailed because the Master Grade, I think, had the have the uh, inner parts that are differently colored, but that's fine. That's fine. Pretty nice looking. Now, I read somewhere that you can mount them two different ways on Exia here, but I can only find the one, so maybe I'm doing it wrong. I just have to pull this side piece out, and then the gray part, you can flip it around and reveal a peg. And then you just have to simply peg it in. Either way, because it goes all the way through the... Uh, sword. Now I am a little worried if he falls and these are on here, it'll break the peg inside here. I don't know. It's not a super like tough material. It's a little flexible, but I'm so worried. So I don't think I'll display them. Well, I might. I might take the chance. Who knows? And speaking of holding them, you can hold them in the articulate fingers, which I'm increasingly um, like kind of turn off on the articulate fingers just because they don't hold weapons that well, especially heavier ones. Unless they have a peg. But, without the peg, these still hold rather nicely. They will hold if you get the uh, thumb wrap around it, so it's not too bad. And we've also got the shield. Now the shield here, they did the little gimmick that the Masteroid has, but differently, because it has the opening parts that are on tracks for the shield. These ones you have to unpeg and put them up a little higher to reveal the detail. I never really understood why it does this, but you can do it. The thing is, they're not super tight. As you can see, it just comes right off. They're much tighter in compact mode, so I'll probably label like that. I really like this part, the connector, because you got three pegs here, so you can actually move it 
farther down or higher up. I kind of like that. It's very secure because there's three pegs. And something else that's really secure, Master Grade, take note, you can peg it onto the arm and it won't come off. That is that alone. I think it's worth the price of admission to have something that looks this good and actually holds the weapons. Of course, we can't have Exia without the Aegean Sword. Which, once again, awesome Silver Chrome, and they got the inner piece here. So it looks pretty much spot on. And there is some detail underneath. Okay, I'm not gonna apparently get it off, but it is underneath. Basically for the R2 mode. Now you got the connector for the arm, which is on a track. It's kind of loose, but it, it needs to be, and it's not really a big deal. And then you have the double hinge, so you can have it stored on the arm, like this. I can find, there we go, like that. And see, it wiggles, it wobbles, but it doesn't fall off. And so it can be stored on the arm. And then, you just have to extend the hinge, and this does come down, and the handle does move. And so you just get it into the hand, and we'll keep using the holding hands, what the heck, or the articular hands. And it does actually, I think, make it a little easier to get this into the arm, given that slack. Because now you can have it like that. And then you can do the pose where it has the sword actually up, like that. Or, of course, the classic pose, because it does have the peg in the handle, so you can peg it into the hand. Let's see if I can actually do that. Ooh, first try. Wow. Success. And you can have it in the classic pose. Very nice. And then, of course, flip it up, and there you got the beam rifle mode. It looks a little weird here. I thought it needed a cover or something. I don't know. The barrel looks a little different. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. So, that is pretty much the accessories for the Exia. Real great. And it's spot on. It looks great. The simple fact that it can hold the accessories. I know it came out of his hand, but he's still holding it. It's still in his arm. The fact that the pegs will allow him to hold the freaking weapons is so good. Um, I like the way the uh, daggers hold, although I am still, like I said, a little worried that they might break the pegs if they fall. Um, the Gia Drive does come out. I wish I could show it if, without trying to pull the whole thing apart. I'd probably do that and break it. Yep, lots of hands. I just love it. This thing is pretty good with the accessories. Now, of course, gotta do some comparisons. Let's start with, whoopsie, with dropping stuff. But how about another real grade? The Strike Freedom, and I think we all know why. And you can see, it is a little shorter than the Strike Freedom, excuse me, than the Strike Freedom, but then again, Strike Freedom is a taller suit, and Exia is more of an average size suit, I say. And he's hard to stand. He's back heavy. Just the way it is. And then, how about the first Exia I ever got back in 2007? The high grade Exia. Now, this is going to be a nice little comparison here. You can see, real grade, a little bit taller than the uh, old high grade. And yeah, well, this, I, oh, I love how this thing looks so much. I mean, I still love the high grade, but... Mm, mm, yeah, that, that real grade. And since I still have it here, how about the Exia Dark Matter? See, it's still shorter, because it is based on the high grade. So that is the real grade Gundam Exia. I... I love it. I love everything about it. It does have some problems here and there, like I wish it was a little more articulate in the hips because of the front skirts, unless I mean, it's something I'm doing wrong. Um, this thing, the shield opening up, doesn't really stay together. 
when it's opened up. So worried about those pegs on the hips when they're storing the uh, long and short sword. Shoulder armor does pop off when it's too far out at the arm. But these are more like nitpicks. I love it. It looks amazing. It holds the weapons. It stands. It stands. I just plop it out and it stands. You have no idea how much I like that. Yeah, it's it's everything I wish the mastery was. I really do. It is a great. It is my favorite real grade. I think it is the best real grade so far. Bias, I guess, but in terms of the construction, the stability, and the way it looks, I think it is a miniature master raid. So, yeah, I love it. So that's about it, and I'll see you at the next review.